I want to show you the absolute fastest way that we can get our Python scripts to execute at certain times or frequencies using WayScript and cron jobs. To get started, what we'll do is sign up for WayScript and then we'll jump into a workspace. A workspace is just a place where we can build our applications into something called a layer. A layer is a pre-configured environment, which we have a bunch of built-in tools already made for us so we don't have to make them. We'll say something like automate Python as our layer name and this puts us in to that pre-configured environment, which we can start building into. You see that we get a terminal, a file browser, and a process tab. There's a lot more hidden underneath all of this, but I'll keep it simple for this video. Let's create our Python script that we want to run every day or at some frequency. We'll say automate python.py, and we'll put in our code that we want. In this example, it's not too important what our code is, so I'm just going to include an example of writing to a database every minute. That code looks something like this. And this is linked down below if you wanna check it out. But what we have is we're connecting to a database and I'll have to use the secrets file built into WayScript to do this, where I'll put in each of these values. Now that I've put the secrets for my database into my .secrets file, my Python script should run fine. And like I said, all we're doing is creating a cron job to write values into that database every minute. So let's take a look at that. Our triggers is where the cron job is going to live. A trigger in WayScript is just something that activates a script or a command. In this case, we want to do this on cron, so we want to do this every so often. In our case, it's every minute. Then what we'll do is our command to run will just be that Python script of automate python.py and we'll click run. This manual run will do it once, but if we want this to be a true cron job automated, then we'll need to deploy it. We'll deploy it by using the deploy button to the left and click deploy. We'll confirm this and give it just a second to deploy the script. And what that's doing is giving us two environments where one environment is a dev state and we can make our changes in it without altering a prod state. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments about this, please let us know and we'll help you out. 